with the largest screen on any BlackBerry phone so far, large battery, good processor, running the latest BlackBerry 10.2. This phone here is the Canadian's undisputed flagship, taking the torch from the Z10. This is Daniel from Phone Arena presenting you the BlackBerry Z30. The phone also features a premium build with metallic accents plus the awesome BlackBerry keyboard. But will those be enough to entice the ever-shrinking student tie target market of the company? Let's find it out. BlackBerry has done a pretty good job with the design of the Z30, introducing metallic accents, soft touch plastic and solid build quality. Everything looks and feels fine except the weight which at the 6 ounces, 170 grams is rather heavy if you're comparing with the typical Android flagship. The side rim transitioning into a brushed metal plate underneath the display looks very good though and the heft and girth of the phone leave a solid feel in the hand. Moreover, the tapered back is covered with a nice soft touch plastic in carbon fiber pattern that doesn't slip, making the phone sit very well in the hand. This back cover is removable, revealing a sealed battery compartment underneath and a micro SIM slot on the left uh, sitting on top of a micro SD1. The phone leaves uh, a very ergonomic impression when handled. The power lock key at the top, for instance, is situated right smack in the middle where your index finger naturally resides. That button and the volume keys on the right feel extremely solid and have great clicky tactile feedback. Even the small button between the volume ones that calls the voice assistant is very easy to feel and press without looking with uh, a prompting brushed metal notch on top of it. The vibrant 5-inch Super AMOLED display on the BlackBerry Z30 comes with 720 by 1280 pixels of HD resolution. BB10 icons don't look jagged from normal distance with the 925 ppi pixel density and neither does text in the browser. The display exhibits oversaturated flashy colors which make BB10's painting scheme look rather appealing. The viewing angles, both horizontal and vertical, are excellent as can be expected from an OLED display. Its brightness could be a bit higher compared to some LCDs out there but uh, the anti-reflection coating on the Z30 is pretty good and we had no trouble viewing the phone screen outdoors uh, even in direct sunlight. The BlackBerry 10 OS is snappy, visually polished and very fluid. Just as every contemporary mobile operating system should be, visually they've paid a great deal of attention to almost every aspect of the platform, so much so that it boasts some neat looking transition effects that sprinkle love to the new interface, such as uh, the cool fading effect when unlocking the device. At the same time, there's just this consistent fluid performance seen throughout the interface that uh, easily rivals the adversaries. Unfortunately, personalization is pretty much on the same level as uh, iOS since we're only given the ability to change the wallpaper and the layout of the application panel. Compared to Android and Windows Phone, it lacks those personalizing elements to make the look and feel of the interface different uh, between each and every handset. BlackBerry 10.2 does support some neat features that make your life easier compared to the other platforms though, like the sleep screen that uh, shows a big red analog clock in either a portrait or landscape format, which comes neat in the dark hours of the night. This sleep lock screen turns notifications off when activated and a tap on it can turn the set alarm on off or you can edit it directly from the lock screen without even uh, diving into menus. Looking at the phone, there isn't a home button or icon that uh, many are familiar with uh, pressing that returns them to the home screen. Rather, this uh, home screen is comprised of three distinct panels, the Apps panel, Active Frames panel, and the BlackBerry Hub. Swiping left to right to the home screen will get you into any of them, but uh, when you're in the actual app, executing a swipe uh, up gesture from the bottom bezel, and then releasing your finger minimizes the app and places it in the active frame in the home screen. Indeed, it's BlackBerry's uh, take on the whole multitasking thing, which uh, might not seem intuitive at uh, first, but nonetheless, uh, it gets the job done. Following on the same premise, you can get into the peak view at any time by simply doing the same gesture, swipe up from the bottom bezel, but this time making sure to hold your finger on the screen and not let go. In this view, we're given a quick look at the amount of notifications we have. Though technically, you'll need to still tra travel over to BlackBerry Hub to actually see what they are. Well, that leads uh, to the hardest gesture to master, the one that gets you into this BlackBerry Hub, which aggregates all notifications, emails, text messages, uh, missed calls, and so on. Essentially, it is a swipe up from the bottom bezel, 
Then while your finger is still touching the screen, you swipe right to uncover the BlackBerry app. And finally, the last gesture involves swiping down from the top bezel, which will bring up uh, different settings depending on what app you're running at the moment. BlackBerry smartphones are typically known for their messaging prowess, especially when many of them employ some killer physical keyboards. Obviously, the Z30 is an all-touch device and relies on a new keyboard layout. There aren't uh, any gimmicky novelties this time around. We're pleasantly impressed that the on-screen keyboard works very well. Not only is the layout ample, but uh, it is super responsive, as well as in keeping with uh, R8. Plus, it is really easy to hit the right buttons on this large display. Furthermore, we also appreciate the useful gestures in play with the keyboard, like doing a swipe down to get access to the different layouts. And still, we would like uh, to see some numbers and punctuation integrated into the main layout. In addition to its great autocorrect feature, BlackBerry has an interesting way of going about predictive text based on context clues in what you're typing. Different words will begin to appear over certain letters of the keyboard. So all we need to do is swipe up on the specific letter to automatically throw the word into what you're typing. As much as we appreciate this, we find out the pace to be a little bit on the slow side and uh, frankly, we are faster just typing the old-fashioned way. Alternatively, there's also the voice control feature that allows you to speak out words. In our testing though, it seems pretty accurate and somewhat faster than relying on the predictive text. Becoming an integral part of uh, any mobile operating system, voice control services are undoubtedly being used by many more people. Sadly though, BlackBerry fails to bring uh, a reasonable competitor with uh, its offering. You can send text, uh, email, BBM message. Uh, additionally, you can call a contact, schedule an appointment, make a note, uh, even search for things on the internet. But uh, regrettably, it's not as smart as uh, Siri or Google Now which uh, is giving detailed answers to general questions like uh, who is Michael Jordan, for example. The BlackBerry Z30 sports a decent 1.5 GHz dual-core Snapdragon S4 Pro and 2 GB of RAM in order to ensure the smooth operation of the system. Built-in storage is 16 GB and if you ever happen to need more, you can always insert a microSD card uh, up to 64 GB. From basic tasks to more complex things like gaming, we rarely found uh, the BlackBerry Z30 exhibiting any signs of sluggishness. The phone's web browser delivers a very good experience since uh, it's able to handle even the most multimedia intensive sites with uh, little effort. Not only does uh, it offer instant page rendering on the fly, but that same lovable and consistent fluid performance is uh, also witnessed with uh, the navigational controls both pinch zooming and page scrolling. And even sites with heavy flash content are handled uh, very well. You can turn flash on and off, displaying a great amount uh, of finesse. The only thing lacking are secondary features. For example, there's a button to switch between opened apps uh, tabs, but it would have been nice to see some other gestures that would accomplish uh, this tab switching as well. In terms of connectivity options, the BlackBerry Z30 is well equipped uh, as it supports LTE and HSPA download speeds, along with uh, all necessary Wi-Fi protocols. In addition, it also boasts a micro HDMI port, NFC and Bluetooth 4.0, so yes, we can't complain from a lack of features in that respect. Taking a quick peek at the picture gallery, we are adept to notice the conventional layout it's sporting as images are presented in all too predictable familiar grid-like thumbnail view. Thankfully though, we're given some expected functionality with it, uh, such as being able to share them via BBM, email, text message, and even NFC. Moreover, we also appreciate the editing functions that are at our disposal here, from cropping to selecting specific uh, artistic filters it seems considerably extensive than uh, your ordinary picture editor. Moving onward to the music player, we are presented with the album cover, track information and on-screen playback controls. When the player is minimized and placed in the active frames area though, we are not even given uh, playback controls. The mini player here is only accessible in the lock screen after the volume buttons are pressed. Setting uh, the volume to the loudest, the loudspeaker output is average at best. There's uh, enough volume, but it's just not clean enough. 
Hardly a shocker, but the BlackBerry Z30 is equipped to play high-definition videos with no problems. Aside from the swift and steady playback, it's worth mentioning that it supports a wide array of video codecs out of the box, including MKV and DivX, and up to 1080p resolutions at that. When it comes to snapping photos with the 8 megapixel shooter, BlackBerry makes it easy to get access to the camera app. You can launch it from the lock screen by pressing and holding down your finger on the camera icon in the bottom right corner, which takes much longer than it should though. Sporting a clean layout, predominantly covered by the viewfinder, there are few icons or buttons littering uh, the camera app interface. Towards the right edge, there's an icon in the corner that enables us to switch between photos, videos and the new time shift feature. Meanwhile, there's another icon in the bottom right to get uh, into some additional settings and shooting modes, such as burst and stabilization. It is lacking some of the manual modes and comprehensive set of shooting options that uh, other camera UIs offer, for example, like panorama or even color effects. Shots taken outdoors with plenty of lighting are decent enough to accept with uh, their average details and subtle oversaturation, which uh, sprinkles a bit of vibrancy to the shots. However, depending on where you position the focus box, uh, images can appear over or underexposed, and there's quite a lot of noise even in sunny conditions. And the low lighting, uh, it's noticeably more speckled looking with uh, the fine details. While an overall graininess is more prevalent throughout the shot, luckily the LED flash seems to be potent enough to light up the scenery up to 7 feet, uh, though colors appear more washed out in tone. Likewise, we can say the same things uh, about the 1080p video recording, with uh, nothing that really jumps at us. Needless to say, we like the average details it's uh, putting out, gradual exposure and steady frame rate. Despite those uh, items, there are two specific distracting elements that pop up. First of all, artifacting elements appear and soften the details whenever the camera is transitioning from light to dark areas and vice versa. And second, the microphone doesn't seem to handle the wind too well as it picks up that uh, and other noisy tones in the background. If your company's IT department is invested in the BlackBerry universe and your colleagues are mostly on BBM, the Z30 here is your best bet. It folds all the security and messaging features of the BlackBerry platform that uh, you used to into this consumer-centric big screen phone with uh, premium design and pretty good specs. The BlackBerry Z10 is a natural competitor to the Z30 here, but uh, its 4.2 inch display is no match for the pretty Super AMOLED 5 incher on the Z30 in terms of typing, browsing or media consumption, despite the lower price. Other than that, a pragmatic person would be hard pressed to acquire the BlackBerry Z30 at the $600 plus dollar price it commands off contract, considering that's the tech for flagship handsets on mobile platforms that are more proven than BB10 and have a lot higher app count to boot. Unless you're bored with the Android iOS Windows Phone Mafia that is and want to explore a fresh new interface take uh, like this here with uh, BlackBerry 10. This was a video review of the BlackBerry Z30 from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.